good afternoon to uh, one and all. Like you, we are very much ready to go here and looking forward to a game that has been the topic for universal conversation in this part of the world for much of the last few days. It's dry at the moment, but the forecasters have warned us of impending rain. There's no certainty about that, but uh, when it does come, it shouldn't affect the uh, dynamics of a match which has so much riding on it. Well, we are, of course, in Rotterdam at one of the most recognisable arenas in Europe, one that features extensively both at home and abroad for Feyenoord. It is, of course, the Coke. CSKA Moscow have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. The action has already started. And here's Rondon. Decent ball. And that's been levered clear. Chance to break. Smolov. Going through. Nicely controlled. Krikoviak. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Yeah, he's fouled him there. It's not taken him long, and that's going to be a booking. Across the line, and it's a throw. Krikoviak. This is gone, that's a foul. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Well, the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. He's trying the shot. Tries to get it clear. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. Jagoyev. Magnussen brings it over to the other flank. I wonder what you've seen, Jim, over the early moments of the game. Well, I think both teams probably feel it's, it's too early for either to start taking real risks. So they're still very much in a phase of, of testing the waters and, and sizing each other up. There it is over the line. Hoists it forward, and it's Rondon, he's found his man, it's Lasic! Goal! CSKA Moscow! And CSKA Moscow are in front. There was to be only one outcome. Yeah, that's brilliant from him, such a, a calm finish. Just pick your spot, don't think about what the keeper's going to do, concentrate on what you have to do. CSKA Moscow take the lead. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on.
Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1 0. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Magnussen tries to switch the play. Goes direct to the front line. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. Magnussen. Vassim plays it forward. And they've been caught out here. Short of forward momentum, lacking thrust, and it's played forward. And here's Rundle Jagowev. It's Jagowev! He's pulled off a fine save. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. Locomotive Moscow can't make any sort of inroad despite all this possession. And it's Rondon. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Jagoev. Gagoyev spreads it towards the left. Played back in. Going for goal! Tries to pick out a teammate. Played out to the right. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. And it's half time here. And there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal, it is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job. CSKA Moscow head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. And that's the start of another 45 minutes. CSK Moscow really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Krikoviak. Krikoviak. Too much on it and out of play. Vasim. Chagoyev. And it's Chagoyev. Chago. Chagoyev! It's found its way to him. Chance! And he heaves it forward. 
all the way back and they start again. Vassin. Team still separated by the game's only goal. And the shot! Luca, quick pull forward. Well positioned to make that interception. Jaluta looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Just brushed off the ball there. so far Jim well the message they're sending out now is pretty loud and clear and let's grab a second goal and, and give ourselves an element of comfort ball swung in Krakowiak locomotive Moscow going about it patiently perhaps too patiently shoots Good stuff, this is better. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Now the counter. Plays it out to the flank. Vlasic, Jagoev, Vlasic tries to stroke it through. He's got options out wide. That is terrific skill. Jagoev goes looking. Rondon. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. CSK Moscow are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Smolov. And he's there to cut it out. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Forward it goes. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Almost there, and the players can feel it. Tries to get it forward quickly. And that's been levered clear. Keeps everyone guessing. Final act, CSK Moscow, hold on, it's a narrow squeak, good luck, some judgment, 1-0 the score at the final whistle. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Well, to me, this is a result, Peter, that says an awful lot more than the scoreline suggests. You know, after the goal, the team just settled down and, and looked surprisingly comfortable and didn't really need to work too hard. Just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us and to wish you a very good day.